All right, Amy, thank you so much. Signed, sealed, delivered, and dusty. After yeah. nearly eight decades, the old Kosciuszko Bridge is now history. Eyewitness News reporter Tony Yates is there, or was there as it happened. You heard the big <laughs> boom. Good morning to you, Tony. Hi, Tony. Yeah, I heard the big boom, but I was right here, so I saw it, too. It was really cool, but it was quick, you know. I was talking to a lady in the crowd, and she said the, th the same thing. We thought it was just going to be like a boom and then come down really slow, but it wasn't. Check it out. And so the crowd went in awe. <laughs> they didn't really go wild, but everybody was doing the oohs and the ahs as that eight-decade-old Kosciuszko Bridge uh, took just seconds to ignite and fell in one smooth flow. Governor Cuomo was here, and a couple of hundred other people were out here waterside at Newton Creek. So now that the old span is down, all that scrap metal will be gathered up, shipped out, melted down, and recycled, and construction crews can begin on the westbound span of the new bridge to join the eastbound span that was opened up back in April. Uh, all of this is called long overdue progress. We've been living off the legacy of our forefathers. They built the Kosciuszko. They built the tunnels. They built all this. It's our obligation to now build for the future. So as far as we know, it all went off without a hitch. They had some crews on that new span uh, just to make sure that the uh, the explosion didn't upset that new bridge. And so we didn't hear that anything like that happened. I think everybody was pretty pleased with it. And hopefully the people who drew the blueprint to get this uh, demolition off the ground and going at 100 percent, hopefully they're popping a bottle of champagne this morning. <laughs> For now, we're live here in Brooklyn, Tony Yates, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. I like the way you think, Tony H. Thank you. Meanwhile, we have new details about a sad incident that occurred, a deadly crash on the new Kosciuszko Bridge. Police say that it was a hit and run. Officers identified the motorcyclist killed last night as 27-year-old Kevin Liang. Police say that he was traveling eastbound when he was hit by a car trying to change lanes just before 8 p.m. Police now searching for a dark-colored sedan.